Howdy folks, today I've got a good one for you. This last weekend, I hauled myself over to the local cinema to see The Boy and the Heron. This is the newest film from legendary director and animator Hayao Miyazaki. He is most known for his films of Studio Ghibli, such as Spirited Away, My Neighbor Totoro, and Howl's Moving Castle. And that's just three of them. He is responsible for so many of the best and most beloved animated films of all time, but not just that, some of the greatest films of all time in general. His films are all so beautiful, not just in the animation, but in his storytelling, and I am very pleased to say that his newest film, The Boy and the Heron, is no exception to that. The film follows Mahito, a young boy who, after the tragic loss of his mother, travels with his father to a new home. When he meets a talking grey heron, he finds himself in a strange, magical world, full of weird people and things. It goes without saying that the animation is absolutely beautiful. It's not a moving picture, it's a moving painting. Every scene of this demands to be seen on the big screen. The cast is also insane. This rivals Spider-Verse for having the best voice acting of the year. This also has some of the best music of the year as well. This is one of the most original films of Miyazaki's entire filmography, and by extension, one of the most original films I've ever seen. Every scene gives you something new, and they all have significance to the story. Now let's get into what this thing is really about. I think it has two main themes, the first of which being grief and how we deal with grief. It does this in ways that you can only do with animation. As for the second theme, I think Miyazaki is asking us to see and appreciate the true beauty of our world. With how many things are happening in the world right now, it might be hard to see the true beauty of it. I haven't seen many things in a long time, but this film made me not only see them, but to see the beauty of them. It's far from perfect, but our world is beautiful. I haven't been able to stop thinking about this, and I don't think I will for a long, long time. People at Ghibli are saying that this is not his last film, but I don't think that's true. Asking everyone to leave the world a better place sounds like the theme of someone's last film, and I'm very glad that it's Miyazaki's last film, because this was a very beautiful experience. I haven't been this emotionally overwhelmed by a film in theater since I saw Past Lives, and if you know anything about that movie, you know that that's saying something. It goes without saying that I'm giving The Boy and the Heron a 5 out of 5. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow my letterbox, drink water, and stay safe.